To create a signature, click on the Preferences tab. In the Overview pane, click on Signature. The default name is Signature 1. This can be changed by typing a new name in the name box. Additional signatures can be created by clicking on the New Signature button. New signature names appear in the Signatures pane. A signature can be deleted by selecting the signature name in the Signatures pane and hitting the Delete button. There are two ways to format signatures. The default setting is to format as plain text. This setting will not allow any modification of font, style, or color. Format as HTML will open a formatting toolbar and allow additional graphics formatting to be done to both text and pictures. Type the signature in the Signature Composition pane. Select portions of the signature for additional formatting such as bold, color, font type, and size. Graphics can be added to a signature by clicking on the Insert Images button on the Formatting toolbar. Find where the image is stored on your computer and open it. Click OK in the Upload Image dialog box. If the image is too large, select the image and begin dragging from the corners of the image to resize it. Images are large files and no matter how small it becomes in the signature, the file size does not change. The larger the file, the longer it will take messages to load. Once the signature is complete, choose where the signature will appear in the Using Signatures pane at the bottom of the page. Set the status for the signature that will appear on newly composed messages and messages that are replied to or forwarded. Choose where to place the signature. Choosing Above Included Messages means that the signature will appear directly below the current message being sent and above any messages that have been replied to. Below Included Messages means that if you are replying to a message sent, the signature will appear at the very bottom of the page below the original message. Click Save. The signature will now appear on outgoing messages.